Well, it's a, it's a wonderful question. And um, uh, my Christian faith is at the very heart of who I am. I was, I was also raised in a, in a wonderful family of, of faith. It was a church on Sunday morning and grace before dinner. But my Christian faith became real for me when I made a personal decision for Christ when I was a freshman in college. And I've, I've tried to live that out, however imperfectly, every day of my life since. And uh, with my wife at my side, we've, we followed a calling into public service where we've, we've, tried, to, we've tried to keep faith uh, with the values uh, that, that we cherish. Uh, and w with regard to, to when I struggle, I, 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 I appreciate and, 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 and I, I have a great deal of respect for Senator Kane's sincere faith. I truly do. That's shared. But for me, I, I, I would tell you that for me, the sanctity of life um, proceeds out of the belief that that ancient principle that um, where, where God says, before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. And so for my first time in public life, I've sought to stand with great compassion for the sanctity of life. Uh, the state of Indiana has also sought to make sure that we expand uh, alternatives in health care counseling for women, non-abortion alternatives. We, I'm also very pleased with the fact we're well on our way in Indiana to becoming the most pro-adoption state in America. I think if you're going to be pro-life, you should, you should be pro-adoption. But what, what I can't understand is with Hillary Clinton and now Senator Kane at her side is to support a practice like partial birth abortion. I mean, to hold to the view, and I know Senator Kane, you, you hold pro-life views personally, but, but the very idea that a child that is almost born into the world could still have their life taken from them is just anathema to me. And, and I, cannot, I can't conscience about, about a party that supports that. Or that I know you've historically opposed taxpayer funding of abortion, but Hillary Clinton wants to, wants to repeal the long-standing provision in the law where we said we wouldn't use taxpayer dollars to fund abortion. So for me, my faith informs my life. I try and spend a little time on my knees every day, but, but it all for me begins with cherishing the dignity, the worth, the value of every human life. Elaine, this is a fundamental question, a fundamental question. Hillary and I are both people out of religious backgrounds. Her Methodist church experience was really formative for her as a public servant. But we really feel like you should live fully and with enthusiasm the commands of your faith. But it is not the role of the public servant to mandate that for everybody else. So let's talk about abortion and choice. Let's talk about that. We support Roe versus Wade. We support the constitutional right of American women to consult their own conscience, their own supportive partner, their own minister, but then make their own decision about pregnancy. That's something we trust American women to do that. And we don't think that women should be punished, as Donald Trump said they should, for making the decision to have an abortion. Governor Pence wants to repeal Roe versus Wade. He said he wants to put it on the ash heap of history. And we have some young people in the audience who weren't even born when Roe was decided. This is pretty important. Before Roe versus Wade, states could pass criminal laws to do just that, to punish women if they made the choice to terminate a pregnancy. I think you should live your moral values, but the last thing, the very last thing that government should do is have laws that would punish women who make reproductive choices. And that is the fundamental difference between a Clinton-Cain ticket and a Trump-Pence ticket that wants to punish women who make no, that it's, choice. It's, it's really not. Uh, Donald Trump and I would never support legislation that punished women who made the heartbreaking choice to end a pregnancy. And why did Donald Trump say that? We just that? never would. Why did he say that? Well, look, look, it's, it's, look, he's not a polished politician like you and Hillary Clinton. And so, you know, well, I would don't admit always that's not come out exactly law. the way he means well, them, but I'm I say telling you what other policy great line from the great would Great line from the Gospel of but what, Matthew. But from what, the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. When Donald that's Trump says women should be punished, or Mexicans are rapists and criminals. I'm telling you. Or John you. McCain's not a hero. He is showing you who he is. Senator, you, you, you whipped out that Mexican thing again. He, look, 
Can you defend it? There are criminal aliens in this country, Tim, who have come into this country illegally, who are perpetrating violence wanna, and taking American lives. You want to use a lives. big tar brush against Mexico? He also on said, that? and many of them are good people. You keep leaving that out of your quote. And if you want me to go there, I'll go there. But here's, there is a choice here, and it's a, it, is, it is a choice on life. I couldn't be more proud to be standing with Donald Trump, who's standing for the right to life. It, it's a principle that Senator Kane, and I'm very gentle about this because I really do respect you. It's a principle that you embrace. And, and I've appreciated the fact that you've supported uh, the Hyde Amendment, which bans the use of taxpayer funding for abortion in the past. But that's not Hillary Clinton's view. People need to understand we can come together as a nation. We can create a culture of life. More and more young people today are embracing life because we, we, we know we are... A, we're, we're better for it. We can, like Mother Teresa said at that famous but, national prayer breakfast. This is important. Bring the, I, let's welcome the children into our world. There are so many families let, let, around the country who can't have children. If we could improve the option so that families that can't have children can adopt more Governor, readily why those children. Why don't you trust women to make pregnancies. this choice for themselves? We can encourage people to support life. Of course we can. But why don't you trust women? Why doesn't Donald Trump trust women to make this choice for themselves? That's what we ought to be doing in public life, living our lives of faith or motivation with enthusiasm and excitement, convincing each other, dialoguing with each other about important moral issues of the day. Because but on fundamental issues of morality, because we should let women make their because own there decisions. Because there, a society can be judged by how it deals with its most vulnerable, the agent, the infirm, the disabled, and the unborn. I believe it with all my heart, and I, I couldn't be more proud to be standing with a pro-life candidate in Donald Trump. I do 